Well, here's a commonly known item in the American diet, commonly known as lunch meat or processed meat. It's almost nowhere you can go these days without seeing this, these meats used in our diet. Uh, they're on our sandwiches, uh, in our hot dogs, at our schools for our children, in the hospital, uh, on our pizza. Processed meats are very well known and very common in our diet. And the question we have for you today is, is eating processed meats healthy for you? And uh, my name is Randy Wilson, and I'm with Long Live You. And the goal here today is to help educate you a little bit on some of the ingredients that are present in lunch meats or processed meats that could be causing you cancer and, and shortening your life. So the first subject we're going to talk about is something called sodium nitrates. Now, if you don't know what sodium nitrate is, it's an ingredient that's used in cured processed meats. And that's usually what we mean by processed meats is when they're cured. Like, for example, this is ham. Now, personally, I don't eat ham. But, of course, when you go to the store and you pick it up in the, in the you know, out of the refrigerator, it looks all clean and pretty and pink like this. Well, sodium nitrates are actually used to help retain a pretty color like that. Maybe you're used to eating hot dogs and you see these nice colored pink looking hot dogs. Well, sodium nitrate helps maintain that. Uh, even in something that we commonly use called bacon, nitrates are in there too. Any processed meat that you typically use and buy in a grocery store is going to have sodium nitrate in it. Now, what's the problem with sodium nitrate? It's been directly linked to cancer. Pancreas cancer or pancreatic cancer colon cancer, it's directly related. Now, um, what I want to talk about is how you can use a couple of alternatives or just make you aware that you can still, if you're a meat eater, you can still enjoy quality meat, but you don't have to buy meats with nitrate or sodium nitrate in it. For example, I have a couple of different uh, solutions here. Well, if you're a meat eater, and you still like to have lunch meat or processed meat, you can definitely purchase the same type of meats without sodium nitrate in it. It's actually possible to do that. For example, here's some roast beef. Again, I don't eat roast beef, but notice it says uncured. No nitrates or nitrates added. Well, that's going to definitely be a much healthier uh, choice to make when you're buying your lunch meat. And uh, you know, you may find that it's a couple of pennies, a little more expensive than the kind with the nitrates in it, but you can definitely find your meats that you typically enjoy, including bacon, including hot dogs, ham, turkey, sausage, all of that can be found without nitrates in it. Here is some turkey uh, from a well-known grocer, Trader Joe's. It's oven roasted turkey breast. It says fat free, no antibiotics used, vegetarian fed, no nitrates added. Okay, no nitrates added. And you definitely get a good tasting meat just the same way. When I was a meat eater, my family ate this quite often. We didn't eat the kind with nitrates in it because I had a bad reaction to it. But you'll notice that once you start eating meats, if you're a meat eater without nitrates in it, you may find that uh, certain skin problems and certain sicknesses, maybe even notable diseases, may go away by not including nitrates in your diet. Nitrates have been linked to many, many problems in the diet. Now, <clears throat> I recently read a couple of articles that confirm everything I'm saying here. There's one called Consumer Warning, Processed Meats Cause Cancer. You ever wonder why so many people, cancer is so prevalent these days. It's almost like you get cancer like you're catching a cold. Do you think it might have something to do with what we're consuming, the foods that we're eating? Why do you think that the companies are allowed to put that type of ingredient in our food but not educate us on that it's in there and can harm us if we eat it. Look at this art article here. This says, 
when the lunch meat starts moving, give it a flu vaccine. This article is scary. Did you know that some companies are now spraying their processed meats with a virus to kill bacteria? Did you ever know that there was a bacteria on the food? Did they ever tell us why they were doing that? No, but if you find this article, you'll see a lot more about it. Okay, so let's get on to the good news. The good news is, is not only can you buy meats without nitrates in it, but you can also avoid meat altogether. And this is what my family does. We've actually been able to get very comfortable and enjoy uh, meat substitutes. Uh, Plant-based uh, meat, so, uh, meat products, they're not meat, but they kind of taste like it, and they kind of feel like it. It's almost like you don't notice the difference, but more importantly, mentally, you realize that you're not contaminating your body with these substances here. For example, you can actually get smart dogs. These are hot dogs. I promise you, your kids won't tell the difference. They won't even know. If you gave them smart dogs over these hot dogs, they couldn't tell the difference. And here's the thing, parents, your kids don't choose what they eat. You choose what they eat. So if you choose a better choice of food for them to consume, then you're making the decision to give your kids healthier food. Look at this, sausage. Did you know you could get actual sausage that's just like a, a meat sausage? This is the, uh, what was it we call it? Uh, the smoked apple sausage. It's almost kind of like applewood smoked bacon, but bacon of course is pork and that's a meat. This is a tofu or vegetable, uh, a vegetable process, a vegetable source sausage, and uh, and it's very tasty. Let me read the ingredients here for you. Just a couple things: filtered water, vital wheat gluten, expeller pressed safflower oil, non-sulfur dried apples, Yukon gold potatoes. You know, you, you just feel a lot better about the ingredients here than what's going on over here. Now, here's also something that my kids enjoy a lot, and this is called tofurkey. I know people make fun of that name when I talk to them about that, but tofurkey. It basically tastes like turkey, but it's tofu, and it's very flavorful. And you know what? The kids don't know any different. They like it just like they liked anything else. But the key is, is that it's a much healthier choice. So I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes with you today just sharing with you a couple of quick points about what you could do to live a healthier life, healthier food, helps you, do, helps you live a longer life, helps your body perform better, help avoid some of the problems that inevitably you're going to get by consuming foods that have these carcinogens in them. So uh, definitely I'm going to put these articles on the Facebook page for Long Live You. You can find out more information there. And definitely send me an email or, you know, let me know what your thoughts on, are on this subject as well. Again, my name is Randy Wilson. Be healthy. Be well. Be fit. Long live you.